Rivers has landed a Cecil County man behind bars. This after he allegedly threatened the victim's life with a machete. WMR2 News Jeff Hager has the details. The back and forth between two neighbors had been brewing here along West Main Street in Elkton when police say 61-year-old John Pugh got out of a vehicle, flipped off a woman who lived next door that was sitting in another car and flashed her the middle finger. Pew allegedly entered his apartment and came back out, berating her some more and kicking her front bumper. When she got out of the SUV to confront him, Pew took the dispute to a criminal level. During the course of the argument, it escalated when uh, Mr. Pew retrieved what could be described as a machete. He began to wave the machete, scream and holler, and threaten the victim's uh, personal being with further bodily harm. According to charging documents, Pew said, quote, I'll kill you repeatedly adding on a derogatory term which may better describe a female dog. The victim retreated to her vehicle and called police who say Pew didn't refute her account when the officers arrived on the scene. He freely admitted in fact that those were the actions that took place and, he, and those were his actions and so subsequently he was uh, placed under arrest. Pew now faces a series of charges including first degree assault even though he ultimately backed off from the neighbor and retreated to his home with his weapon. You just have to have the ability and opportunity to carry it out at the time you're making that threat. So obviously when he's threatening her waving the machete around, he has the ability at that immediate time to follow through on that threat. So that would be an assault. In Cecil County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.